What is up guys, today I will be showing you how some of the NBA's greatest superstars in the league right now have changed since 2012. NBA 2K12 to NBA 2K17, 5 year difference, the overalls have changed, some went up, some went down, but today we're going to be looking at them. Okay, so the first person we're going to look at is Russell Westbrook, still in the Thunder, but he was an 81 overall, he averaged 23 and a half points a game. 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, he played a good amount of time, 36 minutes, I don't know why he's an 81, but this is 2012, remember, looking at his old KD teammate and everything, Russell Westbrook is now at 95 overall in 2 games, 17, with 14 points, I mean, you can't say nothing about it, he's really earned that shit, man, he's a, averaging a triple double, 31, 10 rebounds, 10.9 assists, and he's carrying this team, man, all by himself, without old depot in right now. Man, he can do anything. He can throw it, he can rebound, he can steal, he can shoot, man, he can take it to the rack. He's someone you'd want to go up against in the playoffs. I guarantee you that. And that's why he went up 14 points at 95 overall since 2K12. Talking about Russell Westbrook, let's talk about one of his old teammates, Kevin Durant. Yes, he was a 91 overall in 2K12, and then he averaged a pretty good you know, number in 2012. He went to the championship, and he averaged around 28 points a game. Seven rebounds, four assists. He was a beast in 2012, man. He went to the finals, did not win. Of course, he went up led to LeBron. And now, to this day, he's a 94 overall. So he went up three overall since five years. And this year, on the Golden State Warriors, with all that super team, he's averaging 25 points, eight rebounds, four assists. His rebounding went up. His uh, points decreased a little bit because he's on a superstar team. He's not gonna get the ball that much. And the Warriors are doing great. Only five losses as of right now. So you could see. Kevin Durant is happy right now with his team and everything. It's just that not so much people are happy about his decision and everything. But that's anyways, that's Kevin Durant right there for you. Next up on the list, we have Carmelo Anthony. He was on the New York Knicks. I don't know if says Nuggets. But in 2012, he averaged 28 points, 6 rebounds. Like, he was good. He was good in 2012. He was really good. He pushed the Knicks to the playoffs. And... Knicks haven't been in the playoffs, so that was a pretty big thing for them, and to this day, he's an 86, so man, he's dropped a bit, man, he's dropped like, what was that, 7, 8 overalls, and this is him today, man, he, he's doing pretty good, he's averaging around 22 points, 5, 6 rebounds, I mean, it, I don't know, it just hasn't been the same since, you know, before, and I think the Knicks are going to trade him, that's just my opinion on Melo, and yeah. Okay, and next on the list, we have Blake Griffin of the Clippers, a 76 overall. I mean, an 18 points a game, 8 rebounds. A 76 is really low if you think about Blake Griffin. But keep in mind, this is 2012. He was still doing those crazy dunks. Like, like there, he threw it off. Uh, Jamal Crawford actually caught that. But now he is an 87. It says 72 because he's injured. You see a plus that 15 is an 87 overall. So he went up 11 overall points. And man, this year, he's having a really great year so far. 21 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 4 assists. He's, he's a dominant player, and the Clippers are going to need him if they want to get to this playoffs. And he needs to stay healthy. And I think they can make a playoff run if he stays healthy. And that's Blake Griffin. And next up on the list, we have Darren Williams, a 92 overall. He was a beast. He was on the. He went to the Jazz. He went to the Brooklyn Nets. And he was a beast, man. He averages 19 points, almost around 20. 7.7 assists, 3 rebounds. He was a beast. You couldn't stop him. You really couldn't stop him. But look at him now, man. A 76 overall. I mean, he's still having a pretty good year. He's having 14 points, 6.8 assists. He's been under 8 this year. Two games up over that overall. People are saying he's getting old. I mean, he, yes, that's, he definitely is. But you gotta respect what he's doing so far in the NBA as this old as he is. And you gotta respect that, man. He's pretty good this year. Next up, Ken Wayne. Wayne, 97 overall for the Miami Heat. Him and LeBron James were unstoppable in 2012. He averaged 22 points. 4.8 rebounds and 4.6 assists, and he did go on to win the championship with the Miami Heat. Man, he was insane in 2012, man. He still is insane, and this year is an 86 overall. He kind of decreased a little bit a lot, because but he's in his own town, in the Chicago Bulls. He's having a pretty good year, 18 points, 4.1 rebounds, 3.7 assists. He's still a dominant player, and he just got respected. If we're talking to Wade Wade, we're talking LeBron James, a 97 overall. Overall, also two on the Miami Heat. In 2012 was his year as he also did win the championship, as I mentioned with Dwayne Wade. He averaged 27 points, 8 rebounds, 6.4 assists. 
man, this dude is deadly. This dude is still deadly today because he's one overall shy difference. Man, he's still one of the best players in the world. I feel like he is the best player in the world. He's averaging this year 25 points, 8.5 assists, 7.8 rebounds. And after just coming off a championship win, he's looking to go for his fourth ring. And you gotta respect the man greatness, man. You may be surprised with this one right here. This is Andre Iguodala of the Philadelphia 76ers 2012. 85 overall. He was a beast. Fun to watch. He made the 76ers go to the playoffs. He was really deadly, man. He averaged like 12 points a game, 6 assists. And you couldn't stop him. As you see right now, he's a client. He's past his prime. 78 overall. He's still providing solid minutes for the Warriors, and he did win a championship 2015 with them. So it's it's good to see an Iguodala has been pretty good as of his retiring years. Next is John Wall, the Wizards, 81 overall in 2012. He averaged 18 points, 7.6 assists, and four rebounds. He was a great player. Just came out of Kentucky two years before. Really solid for the Wizards. On um, they really needed him, and he's provided. It hasn't made the playoffs yet, but right now he's an 89 overall. He's really improved. This is a great year for him. He's having. 23 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 10 assists, averaging a double double. I think he really needs to be traded because he's such a great player. He needs to be on a good team. That's just my opinion of him. Well, that's been it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you really enjoy these types of videos I have from making it, then just let me know. Hit that like button, and I will make some more of these if you guys really like them. Thank you for watching. It's your boy Halftime Productions, and we out ya.